man. Don't you old man me, it won't kill you to get some fresh air. Oh, don't play me game. You can do that later. Me and your Uncle Les want some time alone. What for? Never you mind what for. Just make yourself scarce for an hour. No, make that too. What'll I do? Go and terrorise a cat or something. Oh. Fear. Can I play? Nah, you do, you old. Oh, no. You're a kid. Oh, please. Tell you what. You prove you're a man, then you can play. How do I do that? Go and nick some sweets from in there. So what did you use on them? Cleaning stuff. And a cloth? Yeah. A damp one, I suppose. Oh, yeah. See, you should have used newspaper followed by a dry chamois. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Did you? I do now. Put them back. I can see you put them back. All of them. Now, go on. Clear off before I send for the police. You see? You see, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. You should have put the sign up. There was only one of him, Norris, and I dealt with it. I thought you dealt with it very well, if you don't mind me saying so. Well, he won't do it again. Often as not, all they need is a fright. But Norris here would prefer that I sat on the lad while he dialed 999 and we got a crack team of policemen burst through the door. I prefer a more gentle touch. Can I play now? Well, we might as well just let him in stop him whining. You were meant to get sweets. She caught me. I did my best. Go on, man. Oh, great. Last minute substitution as Chesney Brown comes on from the bench. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm just glad to see him playing with Craig. Kids shouldn't fall out, you know, just because they're parents. Oh, but... Oh, oh. 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 Come on, wait, will you? Come on. Oh, you're in for you, huh? What's happened? Oh, my wind! David, was this you? No. Hey, don't look at me, it weren't me. How could you be so stupid? It's a window. You don't go playing near a window. Whose ball is it? It's mine. Well, couldn't you play in your own garden? Has your mother thrown you out to play out here? Smashed her windows before, have you? Hey, it wasn't me. A likely story. Hang about, Rita. If he says it's not him, it's not him. Then it must be you. Well, I hope your dad's found some work, cos that's going to cost a pretty penny. It weren't me, it was Chesney. What? Let me in quick. I said two hours, Chesney. Mum, please, she's after me. Who's? Is that right? Did you kick that ball through my window? No, I never. First you come and try and fill your pockets with Miss Sweets, and then you kick a ball through, you little thug. Here. Who are you calling a thug? Him, here, this little hooligan. Have a shop full of glass because of him. It's a good job nobody was hurt. And you reckon it were my Chesney? I know it was. It's not an hour since I caught him stealing sweets from me. Are you calling my son a thief? Yes, I am. And that window will have to be paid for. Well, you can go and shout at someone else for it, cos you'll get no money out of us. I might have known. Behind every young hooligan is a parent who doesn't give a damn. Don't you start on me. I'll have you know I've been looking out this window all morning and my lad's been nowhere near your shop. You want someone to blame? Go and have a go at them two over there. Picking on my lad cos he's youngest. Go back to your own side at street, cos I'm warning you, if I have to come downstairs to you, it won't just be a window that's broken, it'll be your teeth and all! Who do you think you're talking to? I don't know what dump you've hauled yourself up from, but this is a decent street, and I'll not have the likes of you threatening me, and I'll not have the likes of your brat kicking my windows in. You don't frighten me with your mouth, lady, big as it is. And I'll make you pay for that window. You see if I don't. And I'm telling you now, if anybody's teeth are going to get broken, well, they won't be mine. <laughs>